Hi everyone. Once again, this is Afri Design Studios. Afri Design Studios. In this very tutorial, we are going to look at how to dimension your floor plans. Dimensioning is very, very critical in every working drawing. And so that is why I would want us to take this very, very serious. So let's go. We'll go to our Revit um, environment. From there, the first thing you should do is to go to the right level, the right um, plan view. So I go to my project browser, go to 02, double click on 02, ground floor level. After doing that, the next thing I do is to go to annotate, click on annotate. After clicking on annotate, I can click on align. This linear is always problematic. So basically what most people use is align. So I'm going to click on align. And for this very angular um, dimension, you know, can be used to dimension your angles in your drawing okay then we have radial um radial dim uh, dimensions we have diameter we have arc length so but we are going to be mirroring or zeroing in on a line so click on a line you can come here click on this very one and click here and take it up to this point this could be your overall dimension then you can also dimension your what is it called again you can dimension your intersecting walls your intersecting walls you can dimension your intersecting walls click here and click here and take it up Then, okay, I can see, let me click modify to end this first. I can see this is very close. Let me take it up a bit with my arrow key on my keyboard. Click on these two and take it up. And take this up. Okay, now I want to dimension my grid lines. My intersecting grid here, here, and here then i move it up and click here then the last option which is my openings like windows and doors that i have here click 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 here and click here then I take it up and click. Then I can right click and cancel or click on modify to end. So this is how to dimension your walls. But what I've just done now is a complicated um, method of it. There are simpler ways to do this. There are simpler ways where you don't need to start clicking on them individually. Just click on the wall and it will just dimension itself. So, I would want to show us that. So, what do I do? Let me undo all this. Okay. Okay, haven't done this the next method you can use is this go to align then when you come here you can see this pick individual reference we have two options individual references and entire walls the first one i used the first method i showed you was individual references and that is more tedious so but entire wall is faster and easier click on it then click on options the next thing you do is to click on openings in case if you want to 
dimension the windows, the doors, and uh, any opening on the wall. You select opening. Now it is going to ask you, do you want to dimension the center to center or you want it to dimension the width, the width of the openings? I would prefer the width. I click here. Then the next thing, forget about this for now. Forget about this for now. Just click OK. Then what I will do is this. This is the wall, the horizontal wall I want to dimension. All I have to do is to click on that wall. Click on it. All the dimensions will appear. I just move this up and click it here. That is one. Now, the next thing I want to dimension is the intersecting walls. That is this vertical walls. Is what I want to dimension next. What am I going to do? I go here again. Click on options. I now deactivate or uncheck this. I have to uncheck this. And select intersecting walls. I click here. Then I click on this OK. I also click on the very wall I want to dimension. Click on this wall. Everything will appear. I move it up and click here. Okay. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to go back again. This time around, I want to in, uh, dimension the intersecting grid lines, the grids. The intersecting grids is what I want to dimension now. I go to options again. This time around, uncheck this and check this. Intersecting grids. Click OK. Then I also click on the wall, not on the grid. Click on the wall again. All the intersecting grids will appear. You drop it here. Then the final one, which is the out to out. This, you can do that one individually. So that is, I'm talking about the, the overall dimension of this building. I can go here, but I can go here again and select individual references. Click here. Then I click here. And I also click here. Then take this up. Now you can see, then I click on modify to end. You can see that our, you can see that the, 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 the grid heads, the grid bubbles are conflicting or intersect, uh, interfering with the dimension. So I click on it and drag it up a bit, take it to this point and leave it there. So I click on modify to end. So you can see the dimensions here. This first one are for openings. The second one for, for intersecting walls. The third one for intersecting grids. And the last one, the final one, is the, the, the overall dimension, the out-to-out -out dimension of the, the entire length. So this is how to dimension your work. Okay, just in the same vein, you can also change the fonts of your dimensions. You can change the font of your dimensions. Like here, you can click on this dimension. Then you go here, come to edit type, click on edit type. Then you scroll down to text. You can see text. Text size. You can change the size of the text if it is too big. You can change the text fonts if you don't like it then you can make the background transparent if it is opaque i will show you that i will tell you i will show you something about that sometimes if your the background of your dimension is in, in, in opaque it is going to cover some things maybe when you are dimensioning an internal room the dimension will cover it. I, don't worry, I'm going to explain that later. But let's change the font of this um, this dimension now. Let's make it. Let's make it. Do I make it century gothic? Century gothic. Oh. What do I make that now? Century gothic. Century gothic. Yeah. Then I change the color to so what color now? What do I make the color? I'm not going to. I'm uh, okay. Let me make it. Um, let me give it this. Let me give it orange, orange color. Then say okay, and say okay again. 
but the orange does not appear well okay but we, i think it's okay it's okay orange is okay so you can see the gothic and uh, century gothic font how it looks like so that's what i've made it so if you like you can reduce the size if it is too big for you that is one then i want to tell you something about uh, opaque and the uh, transparent dimensions so if i click on this now i want to dimension this i click here you can see that the shop has been covered by the text that is because the te the dimension text is bearing a bag uh, an opaque background the dimension text is bearing an opaque background for that reason you have to make it transparent so that whatever is beneath can be visible so what do i do i click on this i go to edit type then again i come here to text background click on the text background space and click on this arrow and select transparent then click ok then click modify to end you can see the shop now has been revealed there is no more um there's no more interference because everything has become transparent right now so this is where we'll be ending this on dimensioning your floor plan thank you once again for watching this video and thank you more for subscribing to afri design studios youtube channel do not forget to activate your notification button so that each time we release a video like this you will be the first person to be notified thank you and bye